Okay, this is a short instructional video showing you how to take the alternator out of a Greek Jeep Grand Cherokee year 2000 3.1 TD diesel WJ um, Most of the, um, the Jeep Grand Cherokee should be the same So the first thing that you do is disconnect the neutral lead which is the black one of the battery and the second thing that you do is disconnect the live lead of the battery which is red by undoing the little nuts and bolts these are all chewed up and I'm going to strip them down and rebuild them so next time I can uh, get in easier then the last thing you do is take off the battery clamp which was there and that unscrews um, with a long uh, device which I've made I'll show you I've got it over here It's got a knurled thumb screw on the end so that when you put it back you don't uh, do it up too tightly. I'll show you how big it is. You need the depth to get in there. Okay, so getting back to the Jeep, you get the battery out. Next thing is you locate the, the tensioner which is inside the engine and I don't know what the light's like and whether this will show up. If I get out of the way of the shadow, it's down there and you put a spanner on it and just pull it towards the outside of the car to take the tension off and then when you get the tension off the belt, and you don't want to hang a belt when you're doing this, you then just pull the belt off of the pulley. There's the pulley. And down there is the belt, just here, which has been pulled off the pulley. And it has to go over this lip here. It took about two minutes, but you, you've got to know what you're doing, really. You've got to be quick and um, be careful that the spanner doesn't go off the tensioner. I'll just film down from here and see if I can pick up the... Uh, um, tensioner which is right down the bottom there no I don't think it's going to come out because right inside the engine anyway you pull the tension off the tensioner and then you can just drop the belt off the alternator and then on the top of the alternator there's a red wire and I've just taken the cap off so you can see underneath here and then you undo this nut and take that off just just take that lead off and then last of all, down on the left hand side of the alternator, there's a bolt to undo there, just a conventional bolt. Use a socket set on that, you might need to use some penetrating fluid. And then the other bolt is on the other side, under this hose, if I can move it out of the way, which is just there, there you go. There are the two bolts. Then last of all, what I would do is just pull the alternator forward and if I can film it at the back of the alternator just here I'll get my finger in the shot there, that's better just there there's a few more wires that have got to come off if I come out a bit further you can probably see where it is in relation to the screw on the top so there's a screw on the top and there's the wires that have got to come off. And then you should be able to get the alternator off and send it away to be refurbished and have all new brushes put in and, and the windings cleaned out because you get a lot of carbon in there. Mine's packed up. Um, the uh, indicator light dropped down. The warning came on. The battery didn't charge and the car wouldn't start. So um, it needs refurbishing. And then it's just a reversal to put it back. You put the refurbished alternator back connect up the wires at the back, the most difficult to get to as you're doing it, bolt the alternator in place, then do the nut up on the top, and then push the tensioner right the way back, and again it's right down there inside the engine there, and on mine, mine's a UK model, as you look at the engine compartment it's on the left hand side, so if I zoom out, and then see if I can film, it's down inside there. We we'll just have one more look, just in case we can see, but the light is terrible down there. Yeah. 
it's pretty dark in there. You can probably just make out the spanner on there. It's a square drive, but it's not completely square. And that is how you take the belt off and get the alternator off to send it away to be refurbished on a Jeep Grand Cherokee year 2000 3.1 TD diesel. Thank you. So the alternator's now been refurbished and fitted back into the Jeep, all ready for the serpentine belt. So that's what it looks like when it's been refurbished and back in.